welcome guys to episode two of let's lose weight together so i'm gonna sip on this concussion this concussion is rice zempic i did a video about this last week okay which is episode one i lost weight without dieting or exercising so this concussion really 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 <laughs> how many times did i mention really it really works honestly i'm not gonna lie throughout this week i drank this first thing in the morning this curbs your appetite it makes you not to be hungry in fact by the time by the time i even eat it takes me like by three o'clock four o'clock i'm still not hungry that's how effective this drink is so i'll definitely advise you guys to do it go and watch that video anyway let me not go into this because this is not what this video is about i'm just gonna chat to you guys about this week right this video is going to be about my results and what i did and what i stopped which is the topic of this video what i really want to achieve is for you guys to copy my style copy what i do listen to what i say and try and implement it and you're definitely going to lose weight i've lost weight this week so i'm just going to dive into how much weight i've lost because i don't want to make this video very long then i'll go ahead and i'll talk about what i stopped and which is probably what is hindering you from losing weight so you also need to stop it if you're doing it and i bet you guys i bet you that you're doing this i've got like five things i'm going to talk about that you need to stop that you're probably doing and two of them is my favorite the first one is my favorite and also the last one so make sure you stay tuned make sure you watch this video to the very end okay but before i do introduction my name is jennifer and i'm on a weight loss journey i try things and i bring it to you guys here on youtube for you guys to try and help you and also help myself lose weight that's what i do on this channel in case you're new and yeah subscribe to my channel if you haven't and thank you for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber <sighs> okay that one's out of the way right let's get into the video so my results so i lost weight so what i did this week i weighed myself every day to see and also to show you guys that weight fluctuates as it goes up and down and if you continue what you're doing consistently right you will definitely see the result at the end i'm not that i'm advising you guys to um, weigh yourself every day because for some people weighing yourself can be triggering like if the weight goes down and goes up the next day you can you know put you off and you go back to your old habits if you think that would affect you by weighing yourself every time don't weigh yourself every day but i just did it for the purpose of this video right so i weighed myself as you guys can see um every day um right so i started with 167.9 that's my start weight on monday every day i kept on weighing myself at the end of the week at the end of day seven i weighed in at 164.2 pounds guess what i lost 3.7 pounds guys that is 2.5 kg so that is 76 start weight on monday was 76.2 kg sorry i'm looking down on my nose in case you see me looking down and then my day seven weighing was 73.7 so i lost 2.5 kg that is amazing i'm so happy and i couldn't believe it when i actually weighed myself i was like oh my god i can't believe that i've lost so much weight and my goal if you've watched my previous video my last week episode one this is episode two right if you watch my episode one video i spoke about losing weight slowly i just want to lose at least two pounds which is one kg a week i want to lose weight gradually which i, I definitely advise you guys to do the same so yeah that's it i'm happy i'm i'm excited i am smiling so that's my results in case of those of you that just clicked on this video <laughs> that's all you want to see my result for this week so yeah let's get into what i stopped and what i did because that is very 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 important very important don't worry it's nothing hard at all okay it's something that you guys need to just change and improve on basically very very simple so number one guys number one of something that i did right i stopped something that i stopped and you also need to stop i'm 100 percent sure that most of you are doing what i'm about to tell you is to stop telling people that you're dieting or you are on your weight loss journey yes and i'm sure you're doing that if you tell people that you're on diet or on a weight loss journey guys you're setting yourself up for failure in fact <laughs> that is the moment of temptation 
that is when temptation comes in every angle right in fact it's not just telling people don't tell yourself that you are on a diet don't tell yourself that okay i'll give you an example so normally if you tell people you're on a diet or on a weight loss journey right so this is what happens if you go for an event or if you go for a uh, what work for example or if you go for an event and you've told people already oh i'm on a weight loss journey i'm on a diet i'm not this da 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 you know and then they see you eating a donut you take a donut and you're eating a donut and then they're, they're like why <laughs> jennifer why are you i thought you were on a weight loss journey i thought you're on a diet and you're eating donut you can never lose weight i can't see you losing weight or even your kids can tell you, your husband, your partner, your boyfriend, your friend, anybody can tell you, as in people that you've told already that you're on a diet or in a weight loss journey, they'll be like, um, excuse you, I thought you're on a diet, what are you doing? And somehow that kind of affects you mentally, it kind of affects you mentally and it makes you fail it makes you give up it makes you believe that you know from their comments you, you you know you automatically believe that you cannot do it and it's not going to happen oh i failed again oh i failed again because you have it in your head and because you've told people that you're on diet on your own weight loss journey so you need to stop doing that and again you just find yourself hiding to eat it happens to me that's that's why i'm telling you all these things right you find yourself you're hiding to eat because so that nobody will see that you're eating and at the same time you're not losing weight because you're hiding to eat you see so don't tell people you're on the weight loss journey instead tell them if they if they tell you anything oh um, I'm not hungry at eating oh I'm so full you know that kind of thing or no thank you um, I'm going to I'm going to um, I have something to eat or something like that look for excuses i'm going out for dinner with this person i'm going out for lunch oh i don't want to eat because i want to you know i have you know but in, even if even if you have to lie okay or maybe if somebody's preparing your food for you you can tell them oh can you just you know use less of oil let's use the grill instead of you know frying things okay so for example if you eat mcdonald's or fast food and everything do you tell people that you're on a fast food diet <laughs> why didn't you tell them that you're on a fast food diet right so yeah so it, it's not necessary to tell them that you know that you're on diet on your weight loss even to tell yourself that you're on diet on your weight loss okay so yeah stop doing that one if you're doing it already i'm sure a lot of us are doing that so number two would be to stop or reduce fast food foods okay stop or reduce eating fast foods i don't want to switch this video off now because i've mentioned about fast food guys it's very very important everything i'm saying in this video is all my opinion to me i feel that they put something in these foods for you to keep coming back right it's very very you know addictive i don't know what they've put in it it's very very addictive it's over processed it's not healthy you know it's not going to help us lose weight i'm not saying cut it out completely but at least reduce it if you cannot stop it for me it's impossible to stop because you know i have family and we eat out sometimes and you know we buy fast food now and then it's either you stop you know just to lose your weight or you reduce it if you can't stop and also fast food doesn't make you full as soon as you eat it you start to crave for another food it doesn't make you full it just makes you full maybe for an hour and that's it you start to be hungry again and you want to eat another food so what i did guys this week what i did i tried to make healthier choices okay i basically tried to cook my meals and i did easy things easy things as simple as sweet potato with chicken and it's just roast roast sweet potato with chicken right very simple i went to a restaurant i ate the same fast food okay but i made healthier choices i had salmon and i had fries when i also went out the second time again i had um sweet potato again with chicken wings right so you can still eat fast food but make a better choices and cook your meals most of the time 90 percent of the time you need to cook your meals if you actually want to lose weight because you know what you put in it with the fast food you don't know what they've put in it so you know what you've put into your food and you know what you're eating and everything so yeah i would definitely advise you guys to cook at home and make better choices if you need to go out if you have to go out to eat 
yep and that's it so number three number three is stop using foods as rewards okay stop using foods as rewards i see that we do it all the time you know i'm going to reward myself when i lose this weight I'll, I'll give myself to lose this weight in a week and if i lose this weight i'm going to reward myself with food guys if you're on a weight loss journey do not reward yourself with food make it a lifestyle instead right if you want to reward yourself whatever you feel that you always you normally used to reward yourself with if it's with cheesecake or with pizza or whatever eat the pizza eat the cheesecake during your weight loss journey you know just eat it and then next day you know you start what you're doing again don't use it as a reward try and disconnect from food rewards okay do not use food as your reward very 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 damaging to your weight loss journey okay it can also make you not to continue what you're doing as well just try and stop using food as a reward okay instead buy something for yourself okay buy something that you've always wanted like me i've got this obsession about wood wood spoon wood plates wood bowls that's my new obsession right now so i bought myself some set of nice beautiful wood bowls yeah i love it <laughs> yes yeah, so i got myself that and, and i felt good so reward yourself with physical things reward yourself with other things like you know you can go dancing you know if you don't if you don't normally go to dance class you can reward yourself with a dance class i've actually have never been to one so i need to do that yoga you can go hiking you can go to the beach and again you can also pay yourself i heard of someone in this and um, another video you know she said that she she rewarded herself with paying herself can you imagine that yeah so you can also pay yourself okay so cut out rewarding yourself with food right so the fourth one is to stop over exercising guys we need to stop over exercising if you're on a weight loss journey and if you're still on the heavy side guys just take it slow walking that's all you need do your walking that's all you need between 10,000 to 15,000 steps or whatever you can do if you over exercise basically two things you are prone to injuries especially if you're on the heavier side you're putting you know a lot of strain to your joints and everything and also secondly too much exercise or over exercising spikes your hunger hormone right it makes you hungry as soon as you finish a lot of high intensity high intensity exercise you're very hungry you want to eat 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 it happens to me and i'm sure it happens to you or it happens to everybody so walking doesn't spike your insulin it doesn't spike your hunger hormone it's very low impact basically it feels like you're, you're not doing anything and you can make it as part of your lifestyle all right something that you know you can do anybody can do at any age at any time right so don't over exercise don't go to the gym and like choo, 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 choo. start running everywhere no don't do that don't do that just gradually to just walk walking i burned between this morning i walked and i burned at least 400 and something calories just by walking alone so do walking don't strain don't over exercise so the fifth one which is the last one you guys my second favorite is to stop starting on mondays <laughs> i'm sure you you guys watching me i'm sure you're very guilty of it i'm gonna start on monday everything i'm gonna start on monday don't start on monday you guys start now i don't even know who in the world invented this monday thing i'm gonna start at the beginning of the week i'm gonna start on monday i'll start at the beginning of the month no by the time you're watching this video on a wednesday or whatever day you get to watch this video start 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 now if you're watching this video and you just finished eating just make that decision that i'm going to start now i'll start now i'm going out for a walk now right i'm 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 doing intermittent fasting and i'm not going to eat until tomorrow is late you know yeah so start now stop leaving things on monday right stop leaving things to monday because you know what happens right i'll give you an example on monday so you're gonna start on monday maybe today's sunday for example right and you're like okay i'm gonna start my weight loss journey on monday i'm gonna start losing weight on monday on sunday what do you do you go out you eat everything possible 
every even the things that you don't you didn't remember previously <laughs> you start to remember everything you start to remember ice cream you start to remember dessert you want this you want cheesecake you want pizza you want pasta you want the bad the bad or the group of bad foods that's what you want you want to eat everything and you have it in your head like okay i'm gonna eat everything i need to eat now because i'm gonna start on monday tomorrow <laughs> And you know what? Guess what, guys? The next day, which is Monday, you start and you give up in the afternoon. You're like, you know what? I can't do this. Right? So it's not good to do that. So don't always start on Monday, right? Make sure you... <laughs> make sure you, you know, start on the day. On Start now. Okay? Start today and not monday and not the next day okay yeah so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did you know what to do give me a big thumbs up give me a like okay and also share my videos to people so that they can hear this and also implement it and do the same okay i hope you guys will stop doing all these things i've just mentioned anyway guys i'll see you in episode three which is next week i'm excited i want to see how much weight i'm going to lose and i'll be back to let you guys know and that's it i'll see you guys in the next one bye